Good morning. This, uh, this is Flavio Craco. I'm a chief engineer on the electronic power system. Uh, now we are in uh, Campagnolo, and um, what we go to see now is the new electronic uh, system. The new electronic system, uh, in this case, are the our super record uh, system. First of all, we have here the two shifter. The two shifter are electronic, and inside there is an electronic control switchboard. What we do, we do in before is the new uh, shape of level. This new shape permits to use the shifter in both condition. When the hand is over the handlebar, like this, and when the hand is uh, under the handlebar, in a very simple way. The second level is that one. Also, you can use the level in a very easy way when you are uh, down to the handlebar and when you are over the handlebar, okay? Uh, the two level respect our philosophy, Campagnolo philosophy. One lever, one action. One for the downshifting, one for the upshifting, and one for the brake lever. Inside there is an IP67 uh, electronic board. Okay. When the signal comes from the command in analog uh, mode, comes to this device called interface system. Inside this device, there is a digital technology intelligence. Means that inside there is an electronic board with a microcontroller. This microcontroller permits to transform the analog signal from the shifter to a digital signal for the rest of the group set. This is which mode permit to investigate, first of all, the battery level. Okay, so we have five levels: green, green bl blinking, yellow, red, and red blinking. Also, when the system becomes red blinking, there is a noise that you advise is necessary to reload the battery. Inside here, there is obviously a battery, but also the main electronic control for the whole system. This electronic control, for all the time, communicates with the interface system and also with the two devices called front derailleur and the rear derailleur. And the very important things, why it's a digital technology? Because the digital technology speak with the, the actuator inside the, um, the front derailleur and the take back the feedback for re-elaborate the information and permit the right positioning for each component, for each front and the rear derailleur. Here there is also another small LID. All the LID in our system are RGB, and then we can uh, have what kind of color we want. This LID uh, allows to know exactly what is the diagnosis on the system. When a problem happened, for example, in the rear derailleur, this light becomes green. Green indicates that you have a problem on the rear derailleur, okay? Yellow, the indicates that there is a problem in the front derailleur, red in the power system, and then other color for other component. So important, our diagnostic system are on board. Okay, this is a case IP67. All the rest of our component is IP67. One, what means IP67? First digit six means 
that we are able to prevent any dust, small dust infiltration, okay? Seven, second digit, means one uh, meter under the level, the surface level of the water. Our system can work in that condition, okay? Also inside there is a special uh, system for to prevent any vibration problem. So just to give you an idea, we try this solution to the Paris Roubaix or Flanders Tour during the North Europe race, where the vibrations are very strong and high. Okay. Front derailleur. The front derailleur inside have a uh, actuator. We call it actuator. What means? Means that there is a a motor with a gearbox, and also we have a, a resolver. Resolver is an electronic device that allows for all the time to know exactly what is direction, speed, and position. Inside here, there is all this. Also, we use for to prevent and to uh, increase the stiffness and a special uh, plastic material. The, uh, th this is not uh, only a simple plastic material. There is a technopolymer with a carbon fiber inside, just for increase the stiffness. Also, the fork are different for the two uh, version. We have a carbon fiber frontal fork, and the inner fork is in aluminum for the super record. The only difference for the record is the front are in aluminum also. The internal shape of this fork are new redesigned. It's not like our mechanical system. It's totally different. We redesign the part for to increase and uh, at uh, the maximum possible our performance. More or less, the rear derailleur had same benefit from the front derailleur. As you can see, technopolymer are exactly the same than the front derailleur. We use uh, a technical, po technical polymer with uh, carbon fiber inside. We have uh, actuator. The actuator have a linear transmission directly from the motor to our uh, system. We can move as we want the um, rear derailleur. The actuator also inside have a same technology resolver than the front derailleur. The rear and front derailleur setting are totally electronic. You don't need any adjustment by a screw. The only adjustment for the rear derailleur is this screw. When you have complete the adjustment, you uh, adjust a little bit the screw to prevent the, interfer the interference from uh, uh, this device to the wheel. Nothing else, only this. When you have complete the assembly on the bike, you need to make the, uh, the adjustment. How? In the command, as I show you, there are two press buttons. Okay. We keep pressing the two press buttons for more than six seconds, then the light become blue. This indicates that you are inside the setting system, okay? Then you select what kind of device, if a front or rear derailleur you want to adjust. For example, for adjust the rear derailleur, I touch the level, okay, for the rear derailleur. And with the upper lever, we go an upper, with the down lever, we go in down. 
In this system, as you can see, the motor works in linear way, in linear condition. No step, okay? We put the we put the rear derailleur exactly on the middle of the second cox, second cox important. Then when you are satisfied on this, we confirm the position by a simple pressure of the mode push button. The light becomes white. This indicates that the uh, setting uh, procedure are not complete. We need to confirm the tenth coax. Okay, also we go over. We are just exactly in the middle. When you are or we are satisfied, you keep a very small pressure also in the same push button and the lights become a blue flashing. The flashing blue indicates that the settings are complete. Now the rear derailleur works by a step, okay? Okay, if everything is okay, the operation is done. Obviously, you can repeat all the time that you want. Another important issue of our rear derailleur is the multi-shifting. I show you now the multi-shifting can permit the uh, completely upper um, 11 cocks in 1.5 seconds. If during uh, a run you are not satisfied on the regulation, you have also another opportunity to adjust a little bit front or rear derailleur. How? By a simple pressure of only one push button, not two, only one. You keep pressed for more than six seconds. The lights become pink. That indicates you are in a setting, a riding setting. For example, I saw now that the front derailleur is uh, very aggressive. Okay? Now the system goes upper and lower for very short step. For the front derailleur, more or less 0.1 millimeter. For the rear derailleur, 0.2 millimeter. And you have a plus and minus seven position, okay? This is an adjustment. When you have done, you keep press the push button, very short, then the lights pink indicate that obviously also the adjustment are complete, and now the system will rework in the same way. Now I can see and hear that the front derailleur are less aggressive than before because probably I don't like it. <laughs>